Yes, your old buddy Jazz McKay here, and it's time for... Hate Crimes Hoax Update! Hate Crimes Against Allegedly Oppressed Identity Groups are so rare nowadays, so seldomly committed, so gosh darn hard to find, that graffiti reading all lives matter instead of black lives matter is a hate crime. (coughs) Check this out from Charlotte, North Carolina. Police are investigating after someone spray painted ALM and all lives matter on the NASCAR Hall of Fame. The graffiti was spotted in at least 10 areas near the NASCAR Hall of Fame, as you can see, restaurants and, uh, and uh, businesses around the uh, general vicinity of the NASCAR Hall of Fame. Now, <clears throat> the suspect here is, uh, let's see, oh, Demarcus Dunlap, age 19. There's Demarcus. Mm-hmm. Now, what's interesting here, folks, is the incident comes the morning after people gathered uptown to protest against this week's Republican National Convention. Okay, just a wild guess here, but I rather doubt that Mr. Dunlop's motivation was an urgent compulsion to persuade the world, you you know, that all lives matter. Strictly going out on a limb here now. But I'm guessing that his idea was to make people think that white supremacists from the Republican National Committee was in town for their convention had actually done the dirty deed. And don't worry, there's no doubt that Mr. Dunlop is, in fact, the the culprit here because police actually caught him in the act of spray painting the graffiti. But wait, there's more! Another hate crimes hoax! With the cult of racial grievance now having achieved such predominance in our society is that we've got athletes bowing down, kneeling to Black Lives Matter before sporting events as if it were some sort of a god. Uh, There really uh, is no need for hate crimes hoaxes uh, in, in an attempt to raise awareness of non-existent oppression. However, The habit of staging hoaxes to generate sympathy and thereby achieve power is still very much a thing. Take the case of Sabrina Belcher. Now, Sabrina employed a hoax to try and give her a leg up in the race for mayor of Sumter, South Carolina. Belcher, age 29, was arrested and charged with conspiracy and filing a false police report after Sumter police say she filmed herself being kidnapped, beaten, and robbed on Facebook earlier this week. Christopher James Eddy was also charged as her accomplice. They staged a kidnapping and beating in order to garner publicity, sympathy, and votes in the November election, police said. You see, Belcher had billed herself as the historically first black female candidate ever to run for the office. And yeah, I think the picture on the campaign poster is an old one. Uh, yeah, that's a real old picture. I mean, that's deception. It really is. I mean, there should be a law against that. You know, uh, politicians shouldn't be allowed to put up pictures that old of themselves in campaign literature. I mean, could you imagine her putting that picture up on Match.com and you and you, and you you make a date with her, you go to the restaurant, and this is what you end up with? Ugh, that ain't right. I mean, that would be like me putting up this picture from high school, uh, you know, as some sort of a current representation of what I look like, uh, you know, that I'm sorry, that's just not right. (laughs) I mean, really. Uh, But anyway, uh, uh, I digress. Um, She did Facebook Live the whole incident 
And uh, this is this is the video. Motherfucker right here, right now, bitch. Stop it. Hmm? Tell you about fucking with my motherfucking people, ah! bitch. Ah! Hmm? The fuck you want? America would be uh, so much better off if the people that ran for office actually did so because they had the qualifications for the office rather than the right skin color or uh, instead of their victim status or artificially generated sympathy. But until then, people like Sabrina Belcher there will continue to infiltrate our system and pollute our politics. God bless America. I'm Jazz McKay, and I'll see ya. Well, thanks for watching, and be sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, share to your social media, and leave nasty comments below. Also, follow me on Twitch, where I do a podcast Monday through Friday at noon Pacific time. That's www.twitch.tv slash The Jazz McKay Show.